All right, friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. I gotta tell you, these are incredible action figures that you're not gonna wanna miss. The unboxing, the review, everything is amazing. So guys, stay tuned. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, please follow us by clicking on the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next so you can be notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We can't wait to talk to you. And guys, yeah, give us a big thumbs up. So why don't we go ahead and get started right now. It's so nice to meet you, Gigi. Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi. Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Congratulations on all your success. Super All right, friends, welcome back to Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G. Look what we have for you here today. It is the Marvel Legends 2-pack from Avengers Endgame that's coming up. This is Marvel's Hawkeye and Black Widow. And we got these two packs at Target. And if you watched our toy hunting video, and that was so outstanding, right? So exciting. And so let me just tell you, it comes with these three heads to swap out. And obviously, Black Widow here has the female version of that, this Quantum Realm suit. Or, you know, obviously, if you're watching this before the movie came out, we're not 100% sure still what's going on here. You know, obviously, a lot of speculation about these looking like Quantum Realm suits. And if you're watching this after the movie, obviously, you already know. But um, on this female figure, we're able to swap these heads out so that we can put Nebula, if we like, and make this into a Nebula character because they're wearing the same suits. Same here. We have Hawkeye here. You can swap the head out with Ant-Man or Iron Man. And it's the same thing. Now, technically, you could probably do um, Thor, just about anybody, and it would work. Same here. So, um, they look amazing. Can't wait to get them open. And so, because they can swap out the, the heads like that, that's how we were able to do this. See? So... I have Iron Man with his head already on here and Nebula. Doesn't that look so great? Look at that. And it looks like two different sets. It looks absolutely outstanding. So anyway, that's how that was done. Let's take a look at the package before we get it open. There's an awesome picture of Hawkeye right here. So there's Clint right there. And here is Black Widow. Doesn't she look so great right here? Right, Natasha? Looks absolutely outstanding. And let's see what it says here on the back. Because look at this beautiful artwork. It's technically the same picture, right? So, from the ranks of S.H.I.E.L.D. to the growing team of Avengers, Black Widow and Hawkeye put their expert training to use as they suit up to defend their world and universe from intergalactic threats. This beautiful artwork right here. Absolutely outstanding. Love how this looks. Why don't we go ahead and get this bad boy open, right? So, this is the actual set right here. Let's open it up and let's take a look. What do you say? All right, my friends, here we go. There we go, we definitely don't want to bend that. And let's get her on out of here. Here we are. So, let's take a look at this. Hawkeye right here. Doesn't he look outstanding? I think so. Look at that. First glance, here's Nebula. Look at this awesome head right here. It's got great detail. We'll bring it out closer in a minute. Look at this awesome Ant-Man. And look at this awesome Iron Man. I'm a little curious because I'm thinking this is the Mark 85 helmet. Uh, and it looks cool from the side and from the back. But I don't think the gold's supposed to go all the way up that far. Nonetheless, here is Black Widow. She looks so great. She's got that battle braid going. And we'll take a look at what they look like. So, first off, let's get... Uh, let's get Hawkeye on out of here. So once again, movie hasn't come out yet. Still has a few weeks to come out. So you'll have the advantage watching this, you know, on your phone. If 
the movie's already come out by the time you're watching this. But if not, we're doing a lot of speculating here because we definitely would love to know what's happening in this, you know. We, we see where Hawkeye becomes Ronin. Is that well before this part? You know, do they save him from himself? You know, don't know. But what we do know is I can't wait to find out. So here is Hawkeye. He's got this really cool hairdo going. Look at that. They look outstanding. Looks absolutely great. So, yeah, buddy, look at that. Love the way that looks. So look at this awesome suit right here. Definitely looks outstanding. Definitely looks like Hank Pym's, or uh, work of Hank Pym, and maybe ob obviously modified. We're gonna find out if it's modified by Tony Stark or what. Man, I love the fact that these joints are nice and tight. Look at that kind of um, clicks around as it goes, and definitely is stays good in that joint right there. So moves to the high part of the um, over the bicep. Now, interestingly enough, let's see, we got double joint on the elbows, but this little piece right here of elbows keeping it from going all the way back. Uh, we can bring the arm in pretty close, you know, well beyond a 90 degree angle. And the hand bends back and forth and spins. Good. And it has it nice and open so that we can use that, whether if this was Thor's head we were putting on there, so you can put Stormbreaker. And so the other arm obviously does the mirror image stuff going on here. So that looks great. And we have one close fist with, we're not even sure what this does yet, right? We're not sure. So, can't wait to find out. Once I see the movie, obviously I know exactly what's happening, but we don't know if this helps them time travel, if this helps them reg is some sort of uh, shrinking regulator. We don't know, not yet. So, this wrist does go back and forth, but it's nice and tight here. There we go. And spins around, so that's cool. Uh, we got some good ab crunching here. Look at that. <laughs> and let's see his head articulation. Goes back a decent amount goes forward a tremendous amount, look at that. And then kind of tilt, swivels a little bit and turns all the way left and right. So that looks outstanding. Turns here at the waist. And looks like the legs articulate really well. Move on the high, high part of the thigh. Um, they got pretty good hip movement right here. So that's awesome. And with his double joint at the knee, the leg comes in pretty well. Look at these really cool boots. So pivots right here at the ankle, and then points and flexes, so it looks really good. So with this Hawkeye, we can definitely put uh, his bow and arrow right in here. And let's see if I can just jam it in his hand. <laughs> hmm. Let me just take a look at this. Come on, my friend. There we go, let's hold this. Let me make sure I have it facing the right way, actually. All right, so check this out. So he doesn't have any arrows, obviously, but he looks super cool. I'm really digging this Hawkeye. Look at this awesome suit. Look at the great detail. Look at the awesome boots. Doesn't that look amazing? Absolutely looks great. Okay, awesome. Let's set them aside right over here and move on to our Scarlet. I'm sorry, not Scarlet Witch. Because <laughs> it's Scarlet Johansson. I almost said Scarlet Witch. But this is our Black Widow. Let's carefully pop her out. Don't want to mess up this little braid right here, which I'm sure can be torn off on accident. So look how great this action figure looks. Got great face detail. Uh, moves pretty well, you know, not amazing, but moves really well considering the hair comes all the way down to here. Look at the great detail on the braid. Look at that. Oh, another one here. Wow, she's got like this French braid and this like Leonidas wave uh, uh, braid. So the suit looks very reminiscent to the other one, female version. And wow, look at this double joint, really brings her arm in really well. And some great mobility for being in this suit. Let's see what sort of ab crunching we have. Okay, 
So we have movement right here underneath the ribcage. It actually moves a lot back. Just not a whole lot forward, but it definitely tilts side to side. Look at that. All right, so our movement all the way around was in the high part of the bicep and this outstanding double joint right here at the elbows. Let's see the wrist. The wrist should move in and out. There they go. And turn around. Look at that. So, spin, move forward and back, and then there is that thing again. Okay, there's no movement at the waist, so it moves here. And we have some really good articulation. Not amazing, but good right here. Um, the thigh is nice and tight. This one's a little looser than I would have hoped it would be, but definitely. Let's see. We got some really good joints right here for the knee, double joints, and then point and flex really well and pivot. So great. So those look absolutely outstanding. Let's see, is there anything we're forgetting? No, it looks pretty awesome. I definitely gotta say that. Um, interesting, like there's like a little lip here, so it's supposed to be like boots, I guess, but why would you want that poking out here? Maybe in the front, but not in front, of, but not right here where you would sit down and stand up. Anyway, uh, it was whoever designed the suits, I'm sure they look like that in the movie. Let's take a look at the, the other weapons that are on here. Let's give the ones to Black Pat. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm calling her everything but what she is. She's not Scarlet Witch, she's Scarlett Johansson, and she's not Black Panther, she's Black Widow. So, let me catch myself there. Look how awesome these are, right? So it can make one big, like, bow staff, and then come off and go do, 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 do. So let's have her holding these. Look how amazing that looks. Let's have her raise her arm and leave with this bad boy. What do you think about that? I think it looks absolutely great. Let's see if we can get a good pose to where we can have her standing, yet still ready to jump into action. Okay, that looks pretty awesome. It sure does. Alright, let's see. Please stay there, because that would be incredible. Alright, this is what I'm talking about. Look! Tell me that doesn't look amazing. There, let's get a little focus action. Yeah, I'm getting some, definitely getting some great picks here. Okay, so that looks outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. Let's look at this head here for Nebula. I'll tell you what, let me just open the other one. You can take a look at all these. And here's a weapon. So we can have Nebula use, right? All right, so look how great this one looks. It's the same figures. So. It's April Fool's Day, but you don't have to be fooled. And now we're going into, I guess, technically April 2nd, since it's already in the wee hours of the morning. It's already after midnight. So, let's get this bad boy out. It says nothing about Iron Man in the back. And let's have them slide right on out. Super excited about this. And now we just need to put another, uh, another one of the now heads to put, you know, Thor, since we already have a Captain America, so on and so forth, right? All right, cool. Let's see this Iron Man out. Push this bad boy. So it's the same suit. Now what's interesting is that now that this would have swapped the heads, I actually don't think, you know, this was come up like that. I think it's actually just supposed to be like this. And then 
the back and the sides is supposed to be cool like this, I believe. But maybe it's just concept art that they were copying and have like that. And who knows? I could be way wrong. But I know there were some leaks about the Hot Toys that are coming out. The Hot Toys did not have that, but they had the Iron Man 85 suit with all its glory and cool features happening. But um, nonetheless, it looks outstanding. Even if this paint isn't really supposed to be that. So, um, it's great articulation here. It's essentially the same figure, so there's not going to be a whole lot new. But, yeah, buddy, look how great that looks. Um, absolutely. Looks great. So, let's put him here. There we are. Doesn't that look outstanding? So, I guess let me just show you what the Ant-Man head looks like. And then we'll go over to Nebula. Look at that. These are usually soft, and they're definitely soft today. Look at that. We definitely don't want to tear them off. So, that looks outstanding. Let's get our Nebula out. Yep, and let's put her right over here. First of all, look how great her face sculpt looks. It looks so unreal. This beautiful paint job here. Beautiful colors, look at that. Beautiful detail. My goodness, Nebula looks awesome. Nebula looks awesome. So, great suit. And let's put that gun in our hand. A little piece of tape right here. Let's slide it right on up. And all we have to do is put it in here. That's it. Oh, it's not really tight in there, it's loose. So maybe that'll help. So we can get it to look this way. Sorry, I was like just admiring how great this figure looks. There we are. Man, <laughs> tell me that does not look incredible. Look at that. If I can get this, there we go. to be still it looks amazing so let's zoom right on in let me tell you how incredible this looks man look at that yeah buddy I don't know what you're thinking out there but if it's anything close to what I'm thinking it's that these look unreal. Just absolutely outstanding. I am dumbfounded and flabbergasted. Which are actually not familiar with those words, aren't as bad as they sound. It's actually a good thing. So guys, if you've not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you can get notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. And yeah, guys, we can't wait to see our next video. So we have finally found the whole set of Marvel Legends, the individual that make the build a figure Thanos with the battle armor. So you're not gonna wanna miss that one. It's gonna be coming up real soon, probably for tomorrow. So we're gonna be working on that and all the Lego sets. So guys, thanks again for watching Vince and Gigi's super channel. G.